Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Average Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts over the science while practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding popularity percentage. The difficulty level of this question is hard, and I am going to share the SQL schema as well as the panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads We are given a table called friends with two different columns, user 1 and user 2. The combined columns is the primary key of this table. Each row contains information about the friendship where user 1 and user 2 are friends. Okay. We are asked to write a solution to find the popularity percentage for each user on Meta or Facebook. The popularity percentage is defined as the total number of friends the user has divided by the total number of users on the platform, then converted into a percentage by multiplying by 100, rounded to two decimal places. Return the result table ordered by user 1 in ascending order. Let's go through this example. So here, let's for look at user ID 1. So user ID 1 has how many friends? So 2 is a friend of 1. So 1 friend. 3 is also a friend. So 2nd friend. 3rd friend. 4th friend. 5th friend. So 5 different friends. And if you look at, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 9, right? So 9. So 5 out of 9, which is about 55 and a half percentage. Similarly, we can try to find out for user ID 2, 3 and so on. And that is what we have. So to solve this question, what we need to do is from this friends table, we have the user 1 ID and user 2 ID in this combination. And then we can also union the user 2 ID and user 1 ID basically reverse them. Because if 2 is a friend of 1, 1 is also a friend of 2. While calculating popularity percentage of 2 or 1, we need to keep that in mind. That is why we need to do this. So from this table called friends, what we are doing is let us keep both the columns in the order they are and then union the table but this time reverse so from friends let us return firstly the user 2 id and user 2 and then user 1 okay let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at it what we have right now here is if you have 2 1 you are also going to have 1 2 right once we have this then what we can do is let's save this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as this entire thing goes into parentheses and now what we can do is for every user we can try to get the total number of friends so from this common table expression let us group by user 1 and then let us return user 1 and count the distinct number of user 2 and that is going to give us the number of friends right let me just alias this as friends this is just for demonstration purposes but let's see and go step by step okay so now if we look at this what we have is we saw that user id 1 has five friends right so once we have this what we need is from this number of friends divide by the total number of people that are in the common table expression so what we can do is we can use subquery or you can use common table expressions here let me do this using subquery that would be faster to write query for so what i'm doing is this is going to give you the friends and if i divide this by return me the count of distinct user one uh, from the common table expression that is going to give you the total number of people right let me alias this as fraction and let me run this now so now if i look at this what we have here is we have the fraction but we need this as a percentage rounded to two decimal places so for percentage what we can do is we can multiply this entire thing by 100 and then let's round this to two decimal places so round this entire thing to two decimal places and let me bring this down and this should be aliased as whatever is required in our output so percentage popularity and then this should always be ordered by user one in ascending order so let me do that order by user one let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay let me just drag it to above so yeah, this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and sum it as we pass all the test cases. So yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it. So 
not a difficult question but what we basically had to do was firstly we found out okay if 2 is a friend of 1 then 1 is also a friend of 2 we created that common table expression of all the com possible combinations of friends and then once we had that we calculated the total number of friends per user divided by the total number of users that are present and then multiplied it with 100 to get the percentage rounded to two decimal places and alias as whatever is required in our output and ordered by the user so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video